All right, hey guys, it's Mr. Vedi, and we're going to do a quick video for our review. So what I've done is I've picked out four problems, and these four problems should give you a good roundabout experience of what to expect on the quiz tomorrow. So let's start with the first one. If you can't see it, it says log base 2 of 8 equals 3. And it wants me to rewrite this expression in exponential form. So right now, it's in a logarithmic form. I need to make it in exponential form. So remember, logs and exponents are inverses of each other. So if I wanted to write this in exponential form, I'm going to cancel out that log. So I'm going to raise both to 2. That's going to cancel out the log. And it's going to be 8 equals 2 to the 3rd. And that would be your final answer. And if you plug that in your calculator, you can confirm that 2 to the 3rd power equals 8. And this is in exponential form. All right, so you know how to convert from log to exponential. Let's move over here. It wants us to solve. If you can't see this on your screen, it's 4 raised to the 9n minus 2 and that equals 256. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this a log because this is in my exponent. So remember, I'm going to do the inverse of an exponential since this is an exponential. I'm going to do log base 4 on both sides. And if I do log base 4 on both sides, it's going to cancel this side. So I'm going to get 9n minus 2 equals log base 4 of 256. All right, so I need to find out what log base 4 of 256 is, and I can find that out by doing change of base. So remember, this would be log of 256 divided by log of 4, and that's going to equal 9n minus 2. All right, if I do this right here, well, I should get, I believe I'm going to get 4, and you may want to check me on that one, but I believe I get 4, and it should be 9n minus 2 equals 4. Add 2 on both sides because we're solving for n, and we get 9n equals 6. Divide both sides by 9. I get n equals 6 over 9, which would reduce down to 2 over 3, or 0.66 repeating. All right, so n equals 0.66 repeating. That's how you do a solve type problem. And you have an exponential, so you've got to get rid of that exponential by logging both sides. All right. If I ask you to expand, so this problem is log base 5 of 20p to the third. So if I ask you to expand, you're going to look at this problem, and you're going to be like, all right, that means that I have a single logarithm. I want to make it into more than one logarithm. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to look at this problem, and you're going to see, all right, I have log base 5 of 20 times p to the third times mean multiplication. So I'm going to separate these problems out. It's going to be log base 5 of 20 plus, using the product property, log base 5 of p to the third. All right, so I just used my product property. Do you see one more property? Well, we had multiplication. We made addition. Notice that the p was being raised to the third. So that means that we're going to take that 3 and we're going to bring it out to the front. So our final answer will look like log base 5 of 20 plus 3 log base 5 of p. And that's how you expand a single logarithm into multiple logarithms, by looking at all the properties. All right, let's finish up with this last one. It wants us to solve 3 log 3x equals 2. All right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this 3, and I'm going to apply the power property and I'm going to put it to the back. So now I have log of 3x, and this is all going to be raised to the third power, equaling 2. All right, 3x raised to the third power. We have to distribute that power. So that's going to be log of 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27x cubed equals 2. All right, now... I need to get rid of that log because I have my x up there in my log. So in order to get rid of my log, I'm going to have to do an exponential because the inverse of a log is an exponential. So I need to do the exponential, but I need to figure out what base I'm using. It doesn't tell me my base. If a problem does not tell me my base, that means I'm going to use 10. So I'm going to raise both sides to the 10th power. These two cancel out because an exponential and logs cancel out. I'm going to get... 27x to the third equals 10 squared. All right, 10 squared is 100 equals 27x cubed. 
I'm going to divide both sides by 27. I'm going to get x cubed equals 100 over 27. And then if I have a cube, how do I get rid of a cube? Well, I find the cube root. So I'm going to raise both sides to one third. If I raise both sides to one third on this side, this is the power property of exponents. These cancel out, so it just becomes x equals, and I'm going to have 100 over 27, and that's all going to be raised to the one third power. I don't have a calculator on me right now, so that's the farthest I can go. So these are four examples of problems that you're going to be expected to do on the quiz. There'll be a bit more, but these are the ones that I think are the most challenging and may give you a bit of trouble. Remember, if I tell you to do something like change of base, and you have something like log base 3 of 8, change of base just asks you to do log of 8 over log of 3. All right, that's pretty simple. All right, have a great day, guys.